edition of VMS TV. This February show, we have another classic cooking show and two campus cameras. You also may be wondering about the upcoming Lights Out dance, so we will have some information on that. So sit back and relax because VMS TV starts right now. now. First off, we have a story on a true lifesaver, also known as a firefighter. My name is Jake Hardy. I'm 24 years old. Um, I'm a firefighter paramedic with Carlsbad Fire Department. I wonder, what got Jake wanting to be a firefighter? I was exposed to the fire service at a very young age. Uh, my dad was and is currently a firefighter. Um, so I grew up around the department. Um, and I really learned to love it from a young age. Jake has been around firefighters for all of his life, but what is his favorite thing to do as a firefighter? My favorite thing to do at the fire station is to slide down the fire pole. Um, we just got a new fire pole here at our station too, and it makes you feel like a kid on a playground again. This is a firefighter turnout. It protects them from house fires when trying to get to civilians. All right, so some of the steps required to become a firefighter um, include attending EMT school. Um, we're required to go to a firefighter academy where we learn all of the basics on becoming a firefighter, um, as well as paramedic school. Firefighters always need to be communicating, but what does that sound like? Reporting for VMS TV with photojournalist Daniel Dreyer, I'm Cole Tucker. Wow, if a story is that fire, you may need to stop, drop, and roll. Now we have a very deep 8th grade campus camera. Hi Valley, I'm Cameron Strother, and for today's campus camera, we're going to be asking the question, what are you thinking about? That the Padres are going to win a World Series. What are you thinking about today? Oh, uh, I'm thinking about how, how school lunches aren't that good. What are you thinking about today? Um... To be honest, I don't know. I I'm thinking about how much homework I have to do. Uh, this. Toast and marshmallow lollipop from Mike. What are you thinking about today? Um, I'm thinking about my birthday. And what are you thinking about today? I'm thinking about my... Oh! <laughs> thinking about how lazy I am and this grass feels amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking about that very touching documentary about racism, and it really touched my heart. I'm thinking about how scrumps, scrumptious the switch is. <laughs> what are you thinking about today? Uh, the school's lunch. I mean, it's, it's, it's like one out of ten. Thank you, Cameron, for that piece. What's on your mind? Now we'll pass it over to Evan for the weather. Hey, Valley, on Wednesday we should see 55 degrees, a little bit of shower. Uh, Thursday, it's not going to be much different at all. And Friday, we should see heavy showers, 55 degrees. Um, that's all I got for the weather, and I'm going to take it back to the anchors at the studio. Well, that looked like a breeze. Thank you for that W graphic, Evan. Next up, we have a story on our local lids. Take it away, Connor. Michael Chapman, a local worker here at the well-known hat shop, Lids, shares his unique outlook in the business of selling. My name is Michael Chapman, and I work at LIDS here in Carlsbad, California. Michael is a hard-working employee, but what does he most enjoy about working at LIDS? Um, one thing that I love about working here is coming to a friendly work environment, and the vibe that it sets throughout the whole day. It's very chill. Uh, it's not too hectic. There's a variety of hats to choose between, but what makes theirs unique? Being able to grab your own hat and put your own name or customize it however you want on it. I don't think there's a lot of different places you can buy merchandise and make it truly your own. Here at LIDS, the hats here don't just bring smiles, they bring good looks. Oh, not this hat. This hat. Working at a beloved store like this means a friendly work environment, so... It's not just uh, dealing with sports fans and the thing they love. It's also like the people I work with, very enthusiastic and have a good time while I'm here. Lids here at the mall is a popular and still growing business, and I don't think it's going to slow down anytime soon. Reporting from VMS TV with photojournalist Riso Hamburger, I'm Connor Phillip. 
Make sure you blow away your friends with your neon outfit for the Lights Out dance coming up next week on February 24th from 4.30 to 6. Now we're swiping to a magic window honoring Black History Month. Take it away, Sophia. Black History Month honors the contributions of African Americans to U.S. history. Among the prominent figures are Madam C.J. Walker, who was the first U.S. woman to become a self-made millionaire. George Washington Carver, who derived nearly 300 products from the peanut. Rosa Parks, who sparked the Montgomery bus boycott and galvanized the civil rights movement. And Shirley Chisholm, who was the first African-American woman elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. Now back to the anchors at the desk. Thanks, Sophia, for that spectacular magic window. Next up, we have a campus camera on why would you be famous and what would you be famous for? I'm Kira Kotal, and the question is, if you could be famous for anything, what would you be famous for and why? If you could be famous for anything, what would you be famous for and why? Maybe like a model or something? Um, I think I would be famous for singing. I'd be famous for being a comedian because I can be funny. If you could be famous for anything, what would you be famous for and why? I'll be famous for video games because video games is my favorite thing to do. I would be famous for um, coming up with some type of cure for a deadly disease to help people. Um, I'll be famous for singing because um, singers are great and I want to win a Grammy, so yeah. I think I would be famous for helping people because I think it's something I, I love doing. That was a great campus camera. What would you be famous for? Toodaloo, Toodaloo Vikings, Vikings, and see you on our next show.